I don't know if this audio is going to work. I did everything I tried to do to fix it. Anyways, welcome guys. Intro Arts Lab, Magic Mike Go here, Don Manunzio, showing you today how to make a calibration table. When you, when you make a new method, I'm going to just delete this calibration table here because it's irrelevant. So we're going to start like we just did a new method. We developed like five new methods this month. I already uh, calibrated a couple. I'm not sure how this one is going to look. So I'm just, there's one left and I just thought, hey, why not record it so we could show people how we actually calibrate. So we ran this sequence from uh, the, our standards from one part per thousand all the way up to 90. Uh, this one here on the screen is the one part per thousand and what we'll do is we just click this button here which says create a new calibration table from the current chromatograph. Uh, we're starting it from one part per thousand. Calculate signal separately, automatic, and it'll just load it in there. Now it picked up a couple here in the beginning that we're not going to need so I'm just going to delete those. We only have six. We have NBAO. We have BAO, PCB, ARG, NPCN, and PCN. Alright, great. So we got our first uh, point plotted on the graph there. So now we'll go to the next one. Two part per thousand. And uh, you can see we started and we didn't have a really great baseline here. It's not exactly straight, but as we go along, it's going to get a little bit straighter. Um, ideally, we, we uh, would like to let the machine run longer before we started the sequence, and that would have made that uh, more, more even there. It should get better as we go along. Let's see how this two-part is. So we'll go, we'll add new level. This is going to be level number two, and we have to put in the amount for two part per thousand. Also, when we run the sample in the beginning, we have to put in the right amount because you can't change that after. All right, so you can see it's like really off there. Um, it started, this, this one looks like it started kind of rough. We'll go to the next one, and it's also a two part per thousand. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to hit recal recalibrate level number two and we're going to average this one with the last run. Let's see if it fixes it a little bit more. It's about the same. But that's okay, we'll just move on. Some of them have multiple runs so we'll average them together. So we're on to the next one. New level from this point. This will be level number three and we're going to go with five parts per thousand. Alright, the graph is getting a little straighter go to the next one. For this one we'll hit recalibrate level number three and we'll average it because it's another five part per thousand. Okay. Looks like we got a couple more. Number five. So we'll same thing. Recalibrate level number three. Average. Okay. Now this is great too for other labs if uh, you know you could see how this is done. Some labs maybe you're just setting up and you're just getting going and you're wondering how we do some of these things. So we just averaged four runs of the number five together. Uh, looks like we don't have a number 10 for some reason. So we're moving on here to number 15 which is going to be level four. Maybe I was out of it in more ways than one. Okay, we move on, level number, this, uh, what, 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 this is a 20 part per thousand now, and we're on level number 5, so we'll put in 20 part per thousand, level number 5, I'm trying to go a little fast here, uh, move on, 2.5, I'm sorry, 25, level number 6, one will be 30 parts. Now we got a nice baseline. See I should have waited a, a little while before I let it run but that's okay. This is good. You get to see mistakes too. Um, you know it's good to show things when it's perfect but it's good to see a little bit mistakes because you learn from that. All right next level is level number eight which is 40. So now we know, you know, to let the machine run a little longer, get that good baseline before we start. 
move on number five you see the calibration line is starting to even out pretty good granted level number one and two is a little screwy and uh, you know by by letting the machine equilibrate for longer would have allowed that better baseline and it, it would have been better on the bottom end but we're, we're doing okay it's good you're seeing it as it is level number 10 60 this is another alternate method to our other methods this one starts at a different solvent ratio so we can get a little bit different kind of separation now we're up to level number 11 for 70 parts we're almost done two more level number what level number is this level number 12 is 80 Level number 13, lucky number 13 will be level number 13 will be 90 parts and that'll be our last one and we're done. And now we can go down here and check out all of the, the compounds and the correlation. So for NBAO we got 0.9986, for BAO we got 0.9988. Correlation for psilocybin, we got 0.9989. For ARG, we got 0.9988. For NPCN, we got 0.9990. And for PCN, we got 0.9990. Not a bad calibration table there. It's pretty good. A little, um, sketchy on the bottom between one and two parts and one and five parts maybe if that was a little better we would have got a higher correlation I think our highest so far is 0.9998 or 0.9997 so that's that's our other methods though this will be a separate one so just more uh, you know opportunity more alternatives for us to look at these things so I thought this would be useful for somebody out there if not, just for the members to see how we go about making a calibration table. That is how it is done. Alright, much love and have a great day.